Well, we are out here at a place I have been wanting to search for a long time. I grew up in this neighborhood in this area, and this house is set up on this hill. You can kind of see it over my shoulder. We'll show you a little bit more of it later. Built in the early 1800s. Man, I have just died to get up here and look around this property. Um, I just knocked on the door yesterday, and I got permission. Uh, they said it was mail detected about 10 years ago, but the yard was really grown up. And the guy couldn't really get much places because they had just bought the property and uh, had to bush hog and do a lot of cleaning. It's a very, very pretty property. I'll show you that in just a little bit, but it's in uh, central North Carolina, built around the, right around the turn of the 1800s. So uh, maybe we'll find some good stuff. We'll see. Well, this is the first good signal today. Um, we've had a bunch of trash cans, but this was pretty clean. It's got to be close. Let me let you, we'll, we'll dig it and find it together. Um, hope it's something good. Oh, it's right here. Oh, what is that? I can't. No. Oh, it's like a handle to a spoon or a fork, and it does have a pretty little design on there. Man, we'll have to clean that up. Maybe silver. I think it's silver. It was ringing up like a real high silver, and it doesn't looks to be. The same color through and through is that maybe pure silver we'll have to see very nice well let's go to the next one okay i'm still in the front of the house um, went around the back but there's just a lot of uh, garbage back there in the ground but i'm gonna tell you what i got a deep signal here with the garrett 300 i mean it was way down there I mean, that's 12 inches well i know that it's finally out of the hole i believe what was it? I'll show you what it was ringing up. Ringing up at 80. And it's out. So I don't know what it is. I'm hoping it's a coin. Um, maybe a pull, some aluminum bowl or a penny or something. But I doubt that something modern was going to be in a hole that deep. I mean, that's just a deep hole. So let's get the pin pointer here. And we'll see if we can find it here with me. Ooh, ooh. Where's it at? Whatever it is, it's little. Oh, it's a little button. Oh, wow. It's got some type of design on it. Oh, I'll have to clean it up and we'll take another look at it. Hang on a sec. Well, there you, well, there you go. A little brass button definitely 1800s uh, on the back the uh, things broke off um, I will have to do some uh, clean up on it see if we can get a uh, name brand or a maker on the back but all right finally back into good stuff well I'm here to the uh, left of the front porch area i just uh, dug a uh, old bullet casing here but i'm getting one of my best clear signals of the morning well i was it's kind of changed here Seventy-eight, seventy-six, seventy-five. 76 75 it was ringing 80 a while ago but we'll, we'll dig it and see and find out what's going on well, I thought I was recording, but I wasn't. It's a pistol ball. Pretty cool. Old one from like a black powder pistol. Yes. Right beside the button. 85, 86, 87, 89, 90, 88. And it says it is deep. Just like that button was. Let's see what we got. Maybe another button. Ringing up kind of the same. Jumping around. Well, here's the culprit. Not another button. Just a... Uh, Brass, looks like a pistol cartridge, old round one. It's pretty modern. It wasn't as deep as you thought it was. It's just brass, and it, the Garrett really liked it. So not another button. We'll keep moving on. What I, what I thought I'd do is just go ahead and give you a, a rundown. Look at the property here, what we're hunting. Again, it's uh, around the 1800s is the first structure here. Several great big oak trees here that probably date. 150 years old for those. The big one right there is probably 200 years old. So it's been around a while. 
see the big chimney here <laughs> one thing you can notice you, you, you definitely everybody likes to search around porches and stuff like that but you can tell that porch has been added on the bricks are modern uh, but those bricks are not those are older bricks play 1800s there <clears throat> an old chimney and then we'll go around the back side of the house here I'll cut it off so you don't have to watch me walking around now here as we go around the corner of the house you've got another double big chimney here on this side but what's also interesting here is also this little place it has an old chimney as well there's a big pile of rocks here at the bottom and uh, this is a mixture of modern bricks and kind of old bricks because you can notice that the this bottom part of the foundation here is new bricks and you got some stone and then you come into a section with old bricks the chimney's old okay but everything else around it's not so you can tell those bricks have been torn out but the old chimney bricks are still there. And you can look at that cast iron thing. That, that tells you that that's not a uh, chimney from the 1700s or 1800s. That's a chimney probably around from 1900. Let's keep looking. Here's the back side of the house. Again, a third chimney. A main st structure has three chimneys. And again, that's an older chimney. So you have two chi these three chimneys are the main ones. They are definitely 1800s or earlier. Well, not earlier, but around 1800 to 1850 chimneys. House was built around 1810, so they're probably the original chimneys on it. Massive oak tree. It was here when the house was built. Also, what the owner says to me is, of course, this building's not slave quarters. It's modern. But again, this chimney is a uh, very old chimney that dates back to the original house and said that this was the slave quarters in, uh, before the Civil War this building so but like I said it's grown up right back through here a lot and uh, we've found some modern coins back here but just so much junk you can see <clears throat> well we're gonna go back out to the front yard where we found a few things and get to work well as we head back out to the front yard um, been a kind of a slow morning kind of learning the place found two buttons well actually one button 1800s um, one spoon definitely 18 late early 1800s most likely but it's all out in the front yard uh, well, I found some shell casings uh, and that's it so we're gonna keep looking around the front yard here and uh, I'll let you tag along if we get any good tones all right well these are the finds of the day uh, I didn't show the digs on the two uh, those are cotton bell tags um, from the 18 late 1800s early 1900s they would go on a cotton bell the dime is just for comparison but uh i really appreciate you guys tagging along today and uh maybe we'll do it again